What is up guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got another tutorial for you in which I will be showing you how to uh, run Android on your PC. So or should I say apps, Android apps on your PC. So basically either way you will have an Android that can run apps, games or anything you want on your PC. So let's start. So the first thing what you want to do is head over to this website bluestacks.com and when you are on the site you just need to download this little application this little blue uh, blue green button over here download app player you download it uh, and install it after you've done that uh, you will have to you will have um, mm, a screen like this as you can see and this screen sometimes takes quite a while to load so what I found out is the best thing to do is uh, close it down it will open up uh, after installation just close it down restart your computer and open up back up uh, open it back up <laughs> and then um, it should uh, load a lot quicker so the first startup looks like that uh, it doesn't look anything as stock Android but it doesn't really matter so if you want to do any app reviews or anything uh, it will still work because it's just you can have any app you want that it's uh, on Android mm, so maybe going to settings so as you can see you got a bunch of settings as you would on the Android device and then when you go into um, uh, settings everything changes as is it, uh, as it is um, in, in Android you can go full screen as well so you get basically a full screen Android right now on your on your computer uh, you got a bunch of apps over here and here's the thing if you can't find the app that you want to run in here, uh, the best solution is to head over to Google and put something the app you want to download. So, for example, uh, Angry Birds, Epic, uh, a e and the end of uh, every app you want to download, you should put APK. And then, as you can see, that a lot of uh, Angry Birds came up. So, I will go for the first for the first. Um, website and just basically download it so after the uh, down after it's downloads you will have uh, as you can see the logo of the blue stacks so the only thing you have to do is just click on it it will install apk so after it installs you head over back to to your um, to your android and as you can see angry birds epic it's over here so maybe go full screen and see how it runs so right now it's loading up. So this method uses um, mm, error downloading file expansions. All right. So that is because of I uh, I'm not logged in into into the mm, into the Play Store. Yes, this thing uses Play Store as well. So for example, if I wanted to uh, download Instagram, as you can see, you have to set up a Google account which uh, is not particularly hard you can use your existing one so basically log in or you can make a new one so i won't be showing you to th that today so i hope this tutorial has, he has helped you guys uh, this method is really useful if you want to uh, play games or live stream that's one of the reasons i find out this i wanted to live stream some um, android games uh, but the only downside to it is that you will control it with a mouse so maybe I'm not sure if you have a touch screen or touch monitor that you can touch. So well, basically it's a touch screen. Maybe it will work. Hope, yeah, it should do. So that 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 could be a good idea. But as as of now, I can only use a mouse to control this. But I think it's not a huge downside to it. So yeah, guys, I hope you. Uh, this tutorial has helped you. If you did, smack that like button. It's always appreciated. And if you want to see any of my future videos, click that subscribe button and I will see you later on next video.